Hey, all my Blue Jay families, it's Mrs. Brown. For our warm up today, we are going to do canned good fitness. You're gonna need to grab two cans, any cans will do um, out of your pantry, and you're going to do your warm ups using the canned goods. All right, so my friend Erica is here with us this morning and she is doing canned good fitness. And she has two canned goods that she got out of our pantry. And she is going to demonstrate arm curls. So Erica, you're going to stand up and you're going to put your arms by your side and you're going to curl them up. Ready? Begin. One. Now look, watch. Two and down. Three, four, five. She's going to do five of each just for the video purposes. And then um, you can do more. So if you want to do five of each or 10 of each. All right, Erica, look over here and you're going to put your hands up. And you're gonna go up and down. These are arm raises. One, two, can you, can you down and look up three and four and five. Good. All right. Now you're gonna put do squats. So put the canned goods right by your side. And when I say go, you're gonna squat down. Ready? Go. One, two, three. Go a little deeper four and five now she's going to do lunges all right so ready hold the canned goods by your side and step out with one leg and down one other leg two three four got to go down a little deeper five six seven eight nine 10. This is a good time for my kindergartners to be counting out loud and counting um, by ones. And you can even count by fives, by tens, and just do your skip counting. Same thing with um, our first and second graders. Do your skip counting um, as you are counting. So have fun with your canned good fitness and have a great day. Well, I hope you enjoyed your canned good fitness. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to practice some paddle work. In the gym before school was out, we practiced um, striking with a paddle. And if you don't have a paddle, you can easily make a homemade one. And as you can see, I made one out of a paper towel roll and a paper plate and some tape. So you're gonna make your own paddle. And then you also are going to need either one sock, two socks are gonna make it too heavy, one sock or a rolled up Walmart food lion bag, um, grocery bag. And then we're gonna practice hitting the, hitting the object with the paddle, striking it. All right, have fun. Hey boys and girls, all right. So now we are getting ready to practice our striking with our homemade paddle. And I have my helper Erica here. And Erica has the one sock rolled up and she's gonna take her paddle and she is going to try to strike the sock in the air. Ready? Go ahead, Erica. I see a big thing it's windy outside. Yeah, it is a little windy. Ah! All right, try it again. Okay. Now, the goal for kindergarten is for kindergartners to be able to hit it at least one time in the air. The goal for first grade is to try to hit it more it. than once in the air. And Erica is in kindergarten, so she is meeting her goal. And for second grade, you need to hit it consecutively in the air two times or more. So go ahead. Oh, and she hit it once. So Erica, go ahead back, Erica. Now turn the paddle around and see if it's easier to do it that way. Let's try it that way. Ready? Go. No. Oh, good. Okay, let's try it again. All right, friends. Do you, I like how she is trying again. So keep trying. If you make a mistake, it's okay. And the most important thing is, is that you are practicing. So have fun striking with your paddle. And if you have enough equipment to make two paddles, then you can make two paddles and try to hit it back and forth with a family member. Or you may even use a balloon, maybe a good job or a um, trash bag. So have a good time. See you next week.